Hey there and welcome to the next video in this series. This one is all about ratio. I'm pretty excited about this one because ratio is often taught very procedurally, um, like a series of steps. But when we incorporate models and manipulatives, we can give kids a real, real conceptual and deeper understanding of what ratio really means. So we are going to start out with some quiz and error rods. You could ask your students how they might represent this problem using the rods. I guarantee you that you'll have some kids take the red rods and the blue rods and use them to represent the groups of cars. This is a really good opportunity though to discuss how our parts need to all be the same size, so that won't work. Now, after you've had a really good discussion with concrete manipulatives, we can relate that to a bar model as I'm showing here. So we know that our ratio is two to three. All of our parts are equal sizes. We know that there are 15 blue cars, so we can simply divide that by three parts to figure out that there are five cars in each part, which means that there are also 10 red cars, so our total is 25. So as we can see from the example that we just did, using models like this for a concept like ratio gives our kids the opportunity to develop that conceptual understanding. When they can actually visualize what it means, it's a lot easier to understand. Okay, let's take a look at another problem. This one's a little bit different. This time we have a ratio of zebras to giraffes, which is three to four. And we know that there's 56 animals in all. This time we know the total. So we're going to draw our bar model and we can see that all together there are seven parts and there are 56 animals. So what we can do is simply divide 56 by seven parts. And that tells us that there are eight animals in each part. Now it's really simple to see how many of each type of animal there are at the zoo. 